Hi, I'm Aura the Mystic and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're discussing the history of one of the founders of Germantown in Pennsylvania, Abraham Isaacs Optengraf. In 1688, a group of Mennonites and Quakers in Germantown, including Abraham Optengraf, signed the Germantown Quaker Petition Against Slavery. This was the first organized protest against slavery in North America, emphasizing their commitment to human rights and equality. Abraham Isaacs Optengraf's story is intriguing, not only for his contributions to the community, but also for the mystery surrounding his background. Given the historical documentation of his family's prominence, it's reasonable to estimate that there could be several thousand to tens of thousands of Americans who are his descendants. So let's explore why he was such an important figure and theories that surround his possible royal background. Abraham Isaacs Optengraf was a notable early settler of Germantown, Pennsylvania, arriving with his wife Katharina and other family members on October 6, 1683. Alongside his two brothers, Abraham was one of the original 13 families who founded Germantown, the first German settlement in North America. These families purchased 1,800 acres from William Penn to establish their new community, seeking religious freedom from their homeland's restrictions and persecutions. Abraham's contributions to Germantown were significant. He was skilled in weaving and farming, essential to the early settler survival. During that time, both free blacks and whites engaged in trades, such as weaving, farming, blacksmithing, and carpentry, contributing to the economic development of their communities. He also advocated for religious freedom, shaping the region's inclusive culture. So despite his well-documented contributions, Abraham Isaac Optengraf's background remains shrouded in mystery. One of the most enduring theories surrounds his connections to European nobility. These theories range from claims of direct lineage to debated connections through marriage alliances. Some historians propose that Abraham had connections to the noble Graf family of Germany, although historical evidence to support this claim is not definitive. While direct evidence of royal descent remains elusive, tools such as DNA analysis and genealogical sites offer new avenues for research, helping individuals uncover potential connections to historical figures and royal lines. Abraham Isaac Optengraf's story reminds us of the rich tapestry of history woven by diverse individuals seeking freedom and opportunity in the new world. Maybe you're familiar with Pennsylvania Dutch cookbooks, as these early colonists became known for hearty meals, even as their traditions became mingled with the English, French, and others in Pennsylvania. Scrapple, for instance, has its roots in colonial culture. It's a mush of fried pork scraps combined with cornmeal, buckwheat flour, and spices. Hmm, sounds delicious. <laughs> So do you have Abraham on your family tree? Share your story below. I'm Aura the Mystic. Stay mysterious, stay magical, and have a great day.